Each of us has his own journey to hell. Inspiring, remarkable, unique. Mind began in Baler. We regarded them ourselves as neither rich nor poor. We did not have the comforts of electricity and running water, much less the luxury of a movie house. Nature was our only playground. My father, Juan, he studied to be both nurse and dentist, and met my mother, Juana, at the Philippine General Hospital. My mother was from Maritina, Rizal. Together, they returned to Baler to serve. The only health professionals in our town for some 20 years. In the pre-war days, they delivered every baby and attend to every sick townsfolk. I was the sixth of ten children. My own father delivered me from my mother's womb. A stream of townsfolk filled our living room from morning until dusk. People looked to my parents for both health care and medicine. Most could only be in kind, chicken, eggs, and basket of greens. No one was turned away. We had only an elementary school in town then. To reach it, I had to walk three kilometers every day because our home was on the outskirts of town. When I came to the big city, to study at Roosevelt High in San Juan, I still walked to school, looking every inch the provinciano that I was. But I say, or I saw these details of the life we led, neither as a mark of poverty, nor as a sign of backwardness. Ours was simply an austere life in an austere place. Education was our only wealth and the opportunity to learn we never, we were never deprived. Our home was also our first and earliest training school or ground in public service. And our parents are the first teachers. It was no surprise that all took our provisions only for the interest. nursing, engineering, work. and that's subsequently the old work in the public sector. That is why I credit my parents for my greatest advocacy values. They instilled in us the importance of learning and the virtue of a compassionate character.